What's up guys, this is the Roferman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Knights of St. John. So as I discussed at the end of the last episode, um, because I... Because for whatever reason I can't build first, second or third rates, uh, it'll make the late game pretty annoying. <laughs> Not being able to fight and protect your, your, uh, your shores. You can play the game without a navy, but to be honest... The Knights St. John has been uh, an interesting and struggling and rewarding campaign to play off at the start. It took me quite a few, um, it took me quite a few times to get it going, um, but I'm satisfied of what I've achieved in this campaign. So we're probably going to end it when I meet the in-game victory conditions. But before that can happen, we are attacking this Ottoman force that is raiding around the around the areas to the rear of Tunis. So let's take them out. It is, yeah, it is entirely possible to play Empire Total War without thinking about the naval side at all. Um, but I was really hoping if I if I could you know if I could have if I could have recruited heavier classes of ships, then I would definitely continue. But uh, you know, I've got the steam dry dock. I've got top tier naval attacks. I've got top tier naval buildings. Um, and generally, A, I don't think you guys will mind because the Knights of St. John has generally been my least successful campaign of the four I'm running in terms of uh, engagement. But also it does mean that we get to run another faction vote and carry on playing. Because I'm pretty dead set on playing the other guys, on playing the other uh, campaigns to their natural, or to their world domination conclusion so let's push up our line this flanking brigade is probably not going to get a whole amount of a whole amount of use our artillery is opening up god damn so there goes their gun crews they've routed focus my artillery on the camel nomads They can have a pretty torrid time when all this artillery fire comes in. It's got all this round shot coming in. We've also got a quick climbing howitzer involved. Whenever they eventually elect to uh, open up. Okay, let's run our main line into position. These are only Armenian archers, so they will fall before our concentrated firepower. Not too bastard, looks like they're not. Look at the organ crews are starting to come back. And they do still have a demi cannon unit. That's not really as much of a uh, concern. Okay. They really do not want to engage our our line. Oh damn! I accidentally, pre accidentally pressed halt. You probably can't get off this hill until you go all the way down around along this ridge line. No, oh, no, you can make it down there. Camels have wandered close to our lines. They have been annihilated. And here it is. It's the charge. Camels have returned. I 
Samurai Janissaries are actually charging the they're charging the right people. They're charging the African native infantry because they're not as good quality, so they're more likely to get them to uh, to rout. Whoa! I missed. I left one unit behind. These are just a Mameluke unit, so I'm not anticipating them sticking around for too long. They're good cavalry, but they are still light. Look at these poor Armenian archers. That's right, get nice and close. Hey, they're actually making my native infantry route. Yeah, there we go. They're starting to fall quite rapidly now. Push up some of our infantry to capture the guns. Zemadari horsemen have fallen back to engage us with bow fire, but we're going to surprise them and charge out of our square into them. Here comes the Janis Semite Janissary unit. Yeah, there we go. You guys hit the Janissary Grenadiers. Friendly fire, quick climb again. Good job, this army isn't critical. Light infantry, let's charge into them. Keep pushing up the line because it looks like, well, They've committed a lot of their forces to battle, but it looks like they really haven't... Uh, they haven't given up, because they've got lots of their um, skirmish troops have popped up, these units of Azars and Light Infantry. So we're going to chop these Azars up. Same with this Light Infantry. Only provincial cavalry, so it's not it's not designed to stand up to punishment. Yeah, there we go. I forgot my other cavalry unit. Yeah, we're gonna continue. speed up time while the troops uh, get out of musket range. Could use my general but it's a bit surplus to requirements now. Whereas killish killing these skirmish troops very achievable. stuff. There go the Azars. Charge on into the Grenadiers, but they've... not the Grenadiers, the Janissaries, but they have been routed anyway, so there's not a massive concern there. Almost dead. You guys repair. You guys replenish and push west, because they are likely to just uh, hit Algiers now.
And there's not a lot I can do about it. Apart from deploy this force, maybe, if they get within range. Okay, Paris is ours. So it doesn't mean we're not at war. But it's probably best to just engage them in this region anyway. You guys need artillery. Bad. So let's recruit some guns from Quebec. Then we're probably going to end up pushing against the French once more. Because my main concern is... Well, my main, no, it's not my main concern anymore because I'm going to end the campaign on the other objectives. But Yeah, you can recruit Admiral's flagship first rates, but that's about it. Prussians are just so damn strong. And it would be it's gonna be such a grind to actually try and build something up to fight them, especially when I keep getting Well, when they develop their fleets and so on on the south coast, then I really don't have a chance. To be honest, I suppose your idea will be just to march Hold position near Paris rather than push so let's take Daniel Boscovich push down to this border here so I want to hit Niagara I want to hit Cayuga okay what I say if I knock out Niagara, Cayuga, Albany and Philadelphia then that would be a a good win, I think. Let's hit N10. Because I mean, it does it does mean at least we are um, guaranteed to get some decent scraps in. Because I could probably continue the campaign, but now I've been talking about ending it and starting a new campaign. I feel guilty, and I am aware of the fact that I do have um, if I'm doing three world domination campaigns that's going to take a long time <laughs> to, for those to end so I think it probably is good to have a, a campaign that's not going to be doing that new town emerges in new Granada I mean I'll keep this save so then in a future campaign in a future um, vote, I can vote. Say, would you guys want to go back and me to carry on with my Knights of St. John? So you guys are picking up your artillery. I don't know. I suppose it is... Mm. I am making a very healthy amount of cash per turn. That's my... That's what's got me convinced now. Hmm. Let's march you towards Tunis. There is an enemy force through here. Let's build some colonial line. Ready to re, re to replace some of these troops, and let's. Uh, we've already uh, we've already got some good colonial line. Repair the commercial port, and let's take our militia, set them to garrison Safaki. Because what I'd probably do if I was going to if I was going to continue this, I would likely build up my strength here in France to hold off these armies while I expand in the Americas. Hmm. 
Okay, you know what I'll do? I'll play this. I'll play. Mm. Oh, I'm so fed up of making. I can't make. I shouldn't make these decisions on street. On uh, in in recording. Okay, let's just play it normally for now. Which probably means I want to pick up General's bodyguard. Pick up some. Not heavy cavalry. Pick up cuirassiers because we are in Paris. Pick up some heavy artillery. Can we not build howitzers? Why can we not build? So you've got mortars, but no howitzers. It's very strange. We've got an engineer school, which should give us 24 pounder howitzer foot artillery. Oh, no, there it is. I'm just being dumb. My mistake. Let's pick up a bit of infantry. Because I'd probably like armies guarding these bridges. And then probably some more up here uh, directly facing their front line. Okay, let's hit enter. You're marching up slowly into position. In which case, then I probably. Oh. Uh oh. There goes my planning. They're coming after me. They want Paris back. They're sending a lot of troops to make sure they get it. Good. They can raid your way. You can raid your way around the territory. They demand free trade doctrine for carronades. No. Free trade doctrine is crazy valuable, both in terms of wealth. Well, main chiefly in terms of wealth. Um, it's really far down on the uh, on the research scale as well. Russia still wants an alliance? No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> New Spain is declared on me. Now I've left their border exposed. Classic New Spain. Okay, ignore most of this. You push up and take this bridge. You join Alessandro Contarini. Start spamming out line infantry. We've got improved coppering. So now we are at war once more with the French. You can start trundling your guns down towards Boston. You march north there. Are we at war with the Huron? We're at peace with the Huron. Start to recruit some militia up there just to deter them from attacking. Mr. Boscovich, you march down to Niagara as planned. Nino, uh, Constantino Bassano. Let's go take. Let's go take the Iroquois territory, and we probably want to then take this ship and sail you down to here to protect this crossing. Then down here. Do I have any free ships? I've got one there, which I'm curious if I move them out, will that just trigger them to uh, trigger the Dutch to make their attack? You guys march in. I can sail this sloop. Aha, there we go. I can do swapsies. Right, let's go to Otto Brande. You guys can get up into position. Deposit your troops. Bolster the territory of Guatemala. And if nothing else, keep recruiting. Let's drop some cavalry to Puerto Cabello. Upgrade the army board so you can recruit better infantry, but then let's just drop a, a bunch of infantry to be recruited this turn. 
Lille has been raided, but that's okay. The recruit a general, pick up some artillery. One, two, three, four. Pick up some heavy cavalry and probably some hussars. So that's six troops. You can recruit two more. Let's get two more decent infantry units. Good. Lots of farming upgrades done. So you're replenishing, although I'd probably like to send some of my new troops down. Let's pull the native African troops out, because they're not as capable. Okay, you guys march up, but don't assault. Let's fall back to Tunis, because we do know... There is a stack around here somewhere. There's a lot of troops down here. You rejoin the main fleet. Upgrade this. Actually, no, don't upgrade the mine. Because I want to bring this army down, start to knock out some of these troops push on Albany. But first, Mr. Bassano, let's go take Iroquois territory. I think that's probably the best way to do it. Yeah, just need to build the strength in Paris to hold on to it, which I think we're capable of doing because we've got London just over the channel. Quite a good artillery position, actually. Okay, let's put the bulk of my forces on my left flank to push around. One second, I'm going to sneeze. There it goes. Okay, so we've got the bulk of our strength on our left flank push around. Let's give them some extra cavalry to take advantage of it. Put some cavalry over here in the woods. Backed up with some pikes. General in the center. Okay, they're coming right at us. Then again, I suppose they don't really have a... Uh... Well, if they don't attack me, then... Uh... If they don't attack me, then they're just going to get quick lime to hell and die in their defences. It's not bad, I'll take it. The general's marching up to have a look at our awesome line. The 15th Hessian line infantry is not going to be very healthy. and kill one of the chaps in the centre of the square. Oh, there they go. General's suicide into my line. Okay, let's push. The flanker. Let's push up my cavalry. To be honest, just push up my line. This ter this this city's done for. God, I do like the Marines in this this uniform. Oh, they're about to walk into our positions. Come on, 
lads. Make ready and engage. Cut them down with volley after volley of our fire. As the rolling broadsides come in. There go the militia. Good God. Good old quicklime coming in. Mount tribe logs are still feeling strong at the rear, so I'm going to focus my guns at them because they're not really needed. But this foot field artillery is not really important to win on the battlefield at the moment. as it is <laughs> they're rounding on all fronts you need a militia still here to be honest send my cavalry to go take out the tribal auxiliary let's stop off the other artillery from firing at all this militia's squaring up to think squaring up to attempt to try and uh, do something well there go the troops <laughs> Quick on my own men, as usual. As is tradition. Native musketman auxiliary. Just march up to get within. March up to get within uh, fire by rank range. Yeah, see, this is why you atta actually attack them, cavalry. Don't just run around letting them shoot at you. That's just dumb. These guys are not going to uh, take very kindly to the volleys of musketry about to come in. No, they have not lost that at all. Come on, my Dragoon's not winning against Mounted Tribal Auxiliary. Well, they're about to reload and fire at point blank again, so if you guys didn't do something, you'd get another volley to the face. Oh, they shattered. There we go. Bow before me and tremble. But there we go. We've knocked out their garrison. Good stuff. Let's reinforce the army. So I do want you to... To be honest, you may end up going down towards Michigan Territory and this guy might push on to Algonquin Territory. Actually, you can recruit artillery from there. Why am I wasting my time recruiting it from Quebec? Let's push up. Pick up some howitzers. Let's upgrade one of these craft workshops. And again, I haven't repaired the lumber mill. Okay, and over in Europe. So I know they're, I know they're coming after us near Paris. So you're recruiting troops. I could probably do with. Okay, let's take one of these fleets. To sit up in Marseille. Hmm. Improved coppering. 
Hartford's going on with Top Gallant. Probably not so worthwhile doing that. Go for interchangeable parts. Ollie instead, go for classical economics. I'd like to build this army up into a... This garrison up into another army to help push and knock out these troops before launching attacks towards Cairo. But let's hit enter. I think I know how I'm going to solve this problem. In my faction vote video, when I hit the victory conditions, <laughs> one of the options will be to uh, continue with this campaign. That's how I'm going to do it. Rightio. But they've actually marched on Paris, but it looks like they are attacking us with significantly depleted troops. I don't really think they're going to have a great opportunity in trying to uh, dislodge us from our positions. They may eventually hack their way in through artillery, but then again we can form some good defensive positions. And we've also got some good armies in to uh, support us, although I'm probably going to make it so that I've got more... more uh, cavalry and elite infantry marching up first before the artillery because i don't think that's going to be as useful awesome so thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time for the first defense of paris cheers everyone